Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to share with you a few studio hacks that I have found very helpful over the years. And as always, I love your comments and feedback, so at the end of this video, if you want, write down in the comments your studio hacks. I would love to see them and I'd like to try them out because I'm always looking for shortcuts and awesome ways to make it easier to work in the studio. So my first studio hack is one you may know of. It's pretty simple. It's something I've been using since I was an undergrad student. It is the chamois in a film canister. Now, to be fair, I started using this about 10 years ago. They don't really make a lot of film canisters now that everything is so digital. So what do you use instead? Well, I have found for a substitute that prescription bottles, like empty medicine bottles, will work really well. Some people have even used corks. This is actually a very dirty cork. Yeah, and I'm dirty because I've been working, so you have to excuse the clay mess, because this is life. This is the studio. So you put a little metal pin in one end and clip it to your chamois. I've not tried the cork, mostly because it's the same color as clay. It gets lost in the clay, and I think I'd have a problem with it, although it floats. So the chamois, you leave it on the little film canister because when it's in your water, it's floating. You're not going to lose it. You're going to be able to find it. You're never going to end up with chamois mixed in your clay anymore. You're not going to find it in your reclaim. That is a huge pet peeve of mine. So chamois in a film canister. Hack one. Hack number two. I live in Vermont. It's very cold. My studio is in a barn. Need I say more? Well, I find that to keep my hands from freezing up while I'm throwing, I need to keep my water warm. How do you do that? Well, I don't have running water in my studio either, so that's a whole nother issue. So what I do is, in my bucket of water, I keep a fish tank heater. These are really simple, they're not expensive. You can see how old it is, it's been in my water. I think this is its third year, so I've gotten three years out of this one. It has a little dial on top, right there. So you can set the temp. I just crank it up all the way to the hottest and I leave it in the water. The only thing is you need to make sure there's always water covering it. It's not good for these guys to be in an empty bowl of nothing, like air. You need water. The other thing that I use right here is my electric kettle. And no, it's not for making tea, although I could use it, but maybe not now that it's been in the studio and I don't recommend eating in the studio either, although we all do it. So this electric kettle is what I use to warm my water up before I start working if it's not hot enough for me. You know, sometimes this little guy cannot keep it hot enough, so I will just put some water in this, turn it on, and then add it to my throwing water. This helps the little fish tank heater keep the temperature up. A uh, little note of caution when you're adding the water, do it slowly. If, you're, if your bowl is very cold or your studio is cold, because the thermal shock could break your bowl. You don't want to break your bowl. So I'll add my water and that's it. Now I have a little hot tub for my hands so when I'm throwing they love it. Alright so those are three simple studio hacks. I have more. I will share them as we go along. I wanted this just to be a little fast Friday video for you all. Please subscribe and like this video. Like it. And share with me your hacks because I want to know because we all need to share right and we all want to know all right guys thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time in the studio bye